we have gotten to the crown chakra. Do you see that? Oh, it's over here. Do you see that crown right there? Is your crown on? Is your crown tingling? Do you sometimes feel like this top of your head, like literally sometimes feel like, I don't know, like magic is just kind of setting in right here. Just this amazing knowing that you are connected and you are one with the universe. And because you're one with the universe, with your creator, with God, because of that, then all of these other realities just kind of open up, right? And there's just this beautiful sense of knowing, of feeling, of believing that anything is possible. So we're going to talk about in this how to align, how to get aligned series, sub-series within the Manifest Your Best Life in 88 Days series, we're going to talk about the crown chakra or the sahas, sahasrara, sahasrara. <laughs> I always, you know, have to say that slowly. The sahasrara, meaning thousand petaled chakra. And so the symbol for this chakra is truly the thousand petaled lotus flower. Now, the crown chakra, its natural element is thought. Okay, so this really connects your spirit with your body, your spirit with your, your being here with universal consciousness. Um, again, also with wisdom, much like the third eye chakra, unity, self-knowledge, self-awareness, self-actualization. Its color is violet and it is truly reflective, right? This, the colors and everything I'm wearing a crown crown chakra, right? Um, amethyst, beautiful amethyst from, um, from the continent, um, bracelet. Um, it truly embodies spirituality and alignment. Now this one's not going to be to take us too terribly long to discuss because really it's a very basic, much like the root chakra, but probably even this, it's a it more so it's a really kind of basic concept if you are not feeling like you're connected to God, to the higher universe, to creator, crown chakra is probably blocked or you're just not aware of it. You're not utilizing it. Um, in your physical body, it can be like an imbalance, um, maybe kind of like a vertigo, kind of like literally imbalanced, or you can just generally feel like at dis-ease, you're imbalanced. Overall is poor coordination. So again, it's kind of like, oh my gosh, right? Kind of clunky. Um, and it's just a general overall, physically, you're just not able to function at your highest levels. Mentally, you're probably going to feel a greater sense of confusion, a lack of connection to the world, um, hyper-spiritualization where it's just like you're overdoing it. Sometimes I think that what can happen when we, especially this, so this I would say is hyperactivity rather than blockage, but it could be blockage as well. When we first awaken, or sometimes we go through these phases, right? I've seen people do this a lot when they're like either newly awakened or they don't have a lot of guidance as they're like entering into the spiritual realm that's not based in dogmatic, structured religion, they become hyper-spiritual. They meditate all the time. Or even, even, in, the, even in a religious dogmatic structure, I got to pray about everything. Like I can't not do anything. I can't do anything without prayer. I can't do anything without this guidance. I can't do anything without... And it's like, do you have to pray before you know what color socks to put on today? And believe it or not, there were some people that literally would pray about what to wear that day. Like, I mean, honestly, I'm like, you got to be kidding me. But the reason why I say this hyper spiritualization where uh, we used to also have a saying in the church that you're so heavenly minded, you're no earthly good. It's when you kind of put this facade on because you're not really, you don't have it really grounded within you and integrated into your being, this concept of being spirit led, this concept of your own divinity, this concept of your own autonomy, independent of yet 
in synchronicity with the higher self that we become hyper spiritual. And I don't want to say too much because I don't want to offend anyone, but you kind of know who you are. Um, mental function, mm-hmm, kind of off, lack of focus. Um, when you're really focusing on getting this third, the, sorry, excuse me, crown chakra and balance, you want to spend this time thinking about the world around you, um, kind of like reaching out a little bit. How are you connected to this and this? How do you become a better version of yourself? How can you let go of confusion? How can you gain clarity? This is the true culmination of the interaction of self with the matrix, with the 3D world, and and but it transcends um, dimensions, okay? Now, what can we do to align your chakra? One of the very first things I'm going to say is with any of this alignment is really working with a Reiki practitioner will begin to help get this flow going. Working with an energy healer is really going to get the flow going. This, the concept of being at one with everything is very critical as you're ready to the kind of like get to this place of neutrality where things just are what they are and we're going with a flow, tapping into who you really are and what you really want, right? What did I really come here for? And just sitting with that, journaling about it, just feel it. You know, balancing poses are a great option if we're doing yoga. Breath work is great for opening up the crown chakra and aligning it. Mantras that are very similar to third eye chakra mantras, but mantras of I am at one with everything. I There's a mantra um, that I use when we're attuning folks to Reiki level one. And that mantra is, I shall put no other God before the God of my being or the God that I am. And that was a hard one for me to grasp. But now I, I, I just, I love that so much. Why? Because now not my children, my significant other, my work, my business, other people's images of me, whatever, that it does not, the money, none of that becomes a God that I place above who I am. So my needs, not in a narcissistic way, but my stability, the compassion for self, the stability of self takes paramount, takes priority over everyone else's. Because when I am in alignment, then I can more easily work with others. When I have compassion for myself, I can more easily have compassion for others. When I have clarity about what I'm here to do, right? And it's expanding all the time, but there's a core basis, right? Of being a teacher and a, an a oracle and a leader and a transformational, you know, kind of, I don't want to say guru, but you understand what I'm saying? A way shower. That's who I am in helping you in every area of your life. But there's a significant like um, focus in on like the manifestation and the altering of your world, business, all that kind of stuff. So when you're very clear about that, then you can very clearly just kind of communicate not only your personal vision, but then you get clear understanding and to help others lead them to that space as well. So be very just settled in who you are and that you are beautifully and wonderfully created. That begins to help your chakra, your crown chakra be in alignment. All right, guys, we're through the chakras. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share all the things, follow all the things, other things on the, on whatever platform you're watching me on. Give me some comments. Let me know how this is. Are you having difficulty with this concept, with the self actualization concept with your crown chakra? Let me know. And um, I will be more than happy to reply to you. Okay. Until next time, always give permission to your purpose to provide for your person. We'll see you soon.
拜。